All right, this video is brought to you and sponsored by Ginza. As you can see here, if you're interested in Google Play cards, iTunes cards, or loading up on your uh, mobile games, this, if you're going to whale out, this is the way to do it. Use code SPY for an extra 5% off. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, maybe I should have not looked at the hallible art a little too long. All right, what is going on, guys? Spyball is back again, coming at you with a review on the one and only Halibel. Now, as you can see here, her breast is looking good, but unfortunately, Caleb also flopped once again, as they usually do when it comes to the booty. As you can see here, Nelliel ain't really shining all too well. Halibel ain't shining all too well, and Orhime ain't shining all too well. Now, we're going to do this quick clip just so you guys get an idea of what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. And yep. And as you can see here, Caleb does a very bad job. Like as you can see, like just look at the nail. Look at her breasts, okay? Those are Nazi breasts, bro. Those things are flying high up in the sky, angry. They're not flowing at all. And sure, you could say, oh yeah, it's her armor, but I'm sorry, no one no female in their right mind would ever get armor that does that. That's horrible. I I'd feel so bad for them. Okay, so uh, as you can see here, we'll keep it at level one uh the for the attack. And she is an Arankar spotter with an Arankar killer. She is, in my opinion, the best flurry unit for speed that has a Arankar killer. Nah. <laughs> and she's also normal attack damage 25 link. Probably the, no, the best normal attack damage 25 link in the game by far just because of her. Uh, all right, so <laughs> I switched around the accessories and the links, attack 30, 30, 30 across the board, along with the normal attack damage 25, and uh, yeah, so she is rocking a massive amount of attack that I wasn't able to calculate right away. So 2,871 attack, along with 600, 708 focus, so we'll be able to crit uh, relatively easily, which is good. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's just get right into this. Alright, so without further ado, uh, we're going to do it on two runs. We're going to do it on IZ, and then we're going to also do it on the point event. Now, I would do it on guild quest, but honestly... Uh, let's see, guild... Now, I could do it on guild quest, but the reason I don't want to do it on guild quest yet is because I want to figure out exactly how... I feel like it's going to take multiple things. I do kind of want to still run a Soyfon, but I'm not sure. Do I run Soyfon? Do I run... Uh, this Halibel, Halibel has at the Halibel has attribute advantage, but Soyfold still deals so much damage, and she is a boost along with uh, Halibel, so both of them could potentially be dealing, uh, like both of them could potentially like help with the boost and make sure that they stay up, depending on who activates theirs first. You know, I'm not they, like obviously boosts don't stack. I'm just simply saying. If someone activates theirs like five seconds ahead of time, that's an extra five seconds of boost that I would have, assuming that we don't clear the run in under, uh, what is it, 20 seconds? I think it's 20 seconds of boost. All right, so let's go into the Halibel run. Uh, okay, let's not do that. Uh, let's do the times five run. And yeah, I mean, it, I, I do find it kind of funny because like Caleb does a good job with like the 2D art, as you can see here, 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 mm-hmm. They do a good job, but like their 3D models is like they just don't know what they're doing. Like they really don't. Their strong attack able to cleave. Now she just melts these enemies. Now keep in mind there are no melee guard enemies. A lot of people are like, oh, why didn't they give her guard break? And it's like, because technically she doesn't really need it. Um I did fool around with her in IZ earlier just to check out what she's capable of there. And unfortunately, I didn't want to just do the showcase in that IZ for one of two reasons. One, she does not shine there at all. There's way too many melee guard enemies. And two, uh, she's not going to deal anywhere near the amount of damage she would normally deal in a regular IZ simply because there's no rock cards there. So, <laughs> so pretty much just kill her uh, is the reason. And uh, yeah, as you can see here, she deals tons of damage. Like it's not even, it's not even close. Uh, so let's see, one, two, three, four. Four. So 37.6k, that's what, 74, uh, almost 75k damage with just like the last hit of her nad, which is really good. Boom. And we're hitting some 40ks over there, which is nice. Some 38.9s. All right, let's slow this down while we slap her up. Pop.
Mm-hmm. They know how to do the breasts, though. Look at his Instagram thought, yo. Where that OnlyFans at, huh? Where that OnlyFans at? $35? Wait, that's Belle Delphine. Chill. Yeah, but either way, uh, as you can see here, like, she does do good damage. Like, she's really, 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 really strong. I do wish that she had, like, a boost, but I do feel like that... If she had a boost, I feel like she'd be actually really busted. If they changed her first strong, her second strong attack for her first and made that the lunge, and then gave her the boost for the second strong attack, I, I, I don't know. I'd have to say that she's probably one of the best characters in the game. <laughs> like, I ain't even joking. Like, hmm. But, like, I guess that honestly would be pretty... I guess that would be too busted. But, like, I don't... I really don't think K-Lab cares about what's busted or not. Like, I really don't. Uh, so let's uh, do a times 5 run just for the culture. Because I guess I could use the potions. There's no uh, potion plus character yet. And, alright. So, we'll see here just exactly what I'm talking about. Um, you'll see it towards the later areas. Let's just use our third strong attack. I really don't feel like taking damage too early on. Yep. So there's already two guard enemies right there. Missed the guard break. Mm-hmm. So as you can see here, the first strong attack is a little bit narrow. Or at least too narrow for me. <laughs> Damn, I was actually hoping to avoid that. Now she is immune to weakening, which is good. Guard break all the enemies there. See, like, all these enemies are guard, and then more guard enemies spawn. So this is exactly why I wanted to do it on the point of it. And then the enemies get spread across, because you actually have to use your uh, strong attacks in order to guard break them. Which is also a negative, in my opinion. Uh, let me just get the health. Now, obviously, I'm not playing as optimally as I could. I don't particularly care for that. <laughs> And with the extra killer, she would definitely be dealing much more damage as well. Able to knock everyone down, which is good. <laughs> I hate those enemies. I don't know if those were the scream if that was the screamer, but I hate the screamer so much. Guard break spread the enemies out this is exactly like the main reason that i like the 975 enemy uh the 975 strong attack threes because like you're pretty well protected and yep uh let's see i'm pretty sure he's not guard broke yet yep okay I really need to clip my nails, I can actually hear it. <laughs> I apologize for the clicks. Alright, and yeah, she'll be dealing an extra, what, 20% more damage plus the Inheritance Zone uh, buff to your killer, which means an extra 60% damage because it's multiplied by 3. So, Alexa, 13,400 times 1.6. 13, yeah, so she'll be dealing roughly like 40, 40k per nad hit, uh, not counting um, well, when you count the second hit from the flurry. So that's one thing to note as well. So she should be melting all the enemies that are around cars when it comes to Inheritance Zone. And uh, keep in mind that this Halibel is actually rocking only a level 1 attack. So that's definitely going to be changed out uh, later on. Alright, and uh, that is pretty much it when it comes to Halibel. She's a really good unit. Definitely worth transcending if you get multiple copies of her. I do think that she'll perform very, very well for you. And uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll leave it at that. You know, this guys grind on catch your opinion up, stay blessed. I do think that this banner... I don't think that the banner itself is a skip. I do think that with the filler that they do have in it, a lot of the filler that's actually good in here is most likely going to be showing up for anniversary. So keep that in mind. Uh, save your orbs if you really, really, really want 
uh, any of these characters and you don't care which one, wait for the banner to come back in October. And if you care for one specific character, wait for their individual. You will regret summoning on this banner if you do not get lucky. And keep in mind, probability doesn't care whether or not you got shafted or you got lucky in your previous banners. It's all probability at the end of the day. It's all numbers, man. So anyways, you know guys? Grind on catch up. Hit me up. Stay blessed. Wish you all the best luck in your summons. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.